Hola, hola, my name is Ramon. I'm a cosmetic chemist, an esthetician, and I love sunscreens. I love sunscreens. I love Korean sunscreen specifically. And today we're talking about a Korean sunscreen that's a little bit different. Today we're talking about the COSRX Vitamin E Vitalizing Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus. Now reading up on the marketing for this launch, they say it is perfect for summer. COSRX's weightless vitamin E vitalizing sunscreen offers broad spectrum protection of SPF 50 plus, PA3 plus. So it doesn't say PAs on the packaging. I copied this from Yes Style's website. It says PA3 plus specifically. Checking on COSRX's website. They also do not say there's point to talk about. Along with various skincare benefits, it's enriched with vitamin E and silica to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and regulate excess even production for a matte finish. We'll get to that. The non-greasy formula, we'll also get to that, won't leave a cast. So let me just start by saying there is a lot to talk about with this sunscreen. I'm gonna be discussing a lot of the main points I wanna talk about under the filters and formulations part of the video. I always do timestamps for these videos, so you can just slide over to whichever part of the video you want. Being a chemical sunscreen, I'm going to be using my six Fs testing rubric, which means I'll be talking about the feel, finish, filters, formulation, foundation wear, and fragrance. For these reviews, I always weigh my sunscreens using my little scale, and I always weigh it into a little quarter teaspoon measuring spoon. I weigh it because sunscreen is dosage based. I've measured my face. I know the surface area and thus I know how much sunscreen I need. If you want to know how much sunscreen that you need, click the card up here. I have a whole video detailing how I figured it out and it's a lot easier than it sounds. Let's get into it. We're talking about the feel and the application of the product. You can see I dispense the product out and this is a lotion texture. There's nothing very light about this. I'm going to be very honest with sunscreens, especially Korean sunscreens. I love a gel texture, a milky texture. I got oily skin, so light texture textures are optimal. That being said, I don't mind moisturizing sunscreens, but again, this sunscreen's a little bit different. Mind you, one of my holy grail sunscreens, especially Korean sunscreens, is from COSRX. It's their Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. These two are worlds apart. The Aloe Soothing Sun Cream, it's a very different texture. It's not very emollient, so that when it works into the skin, I don't really feel it. I moisturize, but it's not a greasy finish. I don't really feel it heavy on the skin. This is moisturizing. This I feel on my skin, especially on my eyelids, because I got hella greasy eyelids, but I feel the richness of this on my skin, and this just has emollients to it that automatically I don't love. And again, I love a moisturizing sunscreen. I love a radiant glow. This pushes the boundary of what I personally like, having oily skin. Do know I do have oily skin. If you have dry skin, this will be a very different experience for you. But let's get to the finish of it. Again, I love a glow. This verges on being too greasy on me. Like I just look like I'm shiny, like I have an oil slick going on on me. This isn't to the extent of the original Black Girl Sunscreen SPF 30 or the Bondi Sands Face Sunscreen. Those are greasy, but this is just just, it's too much for what I personally like, even liking a moisturized glow. So I don't exactly love the finish of this on my oily skin either. Do note, I have oily skin, I have very oily eyelids. So a very moisturizing sunscreen like this has the tendency to run into my eyes and irritate my eyes, or it just feels like I have oil in my eyes, both of which are just not the best feelings in the world. So that is worth noting. I didn't get irritation around my eye area. I don't normally, but this did get into my eye and did make me uncomfortable because of my oily eyelids and this being very oily. So do note that. So now let's get into the fun part of the video, filters and formulation. So filters for this. Note, this is a Korean sunscreen. This is COSRX, which is a great Korean brand. But this is a very different sunscreen for COSRX. If you look at the packaging of this, which I'm showing on screen right now, you can see this looks like an American sunscreen due to how they label and display all the product information. Primarily, we look under the top part there. It says drug facts and shows the UV filters. And you can see this uses avobenzone, homosalate, octocrylene, and octosalate as the UV filters in this. There's no mineral filters, no titanium, no zinc oxide, and thus very low possibility for white cast, which I'll cover a little bit in the formulation part of this, but do note there's no mineral filters. It's very interesting how COSRX is marketing this because if you go to the COSRX website and I'll show it on screen here, they're very big on this being, they have like a black model, she has dark skin, they're showing this on her and they're saying hashtag for people of color. They are making this a very like brown and black skin friendly sunscreen, which is interesting for them. Their Alice Soothing Sun Cream, as far as I'm aware, also works great on deeper skin tones, but again, that has filters that are not allowed in the the US, they're not FDA approved, and thus it's not technically an FDA approved sunscreen, but this one actually is. So part of it, I looked at this and I was like, this is US regulation in terms of how to display the drug information as a sunscreen, because sunscreens are regulated as drugs in the US, and thus you have to have the UV filter separate from this. I don't know if you know this, in the US, because sunscreens are classified as drugs and are thus under FDA jurisdiction, they are classified under something called the National Drug Code List. You can go on and most, if not every sunscreen available 
in the US needs to be under this list. If you type in COSRX under the NDC list website, this is the only subscription that pops up, which means this is actually a registered drug in the US. COSRX did all the work, paid all the money, did all the loopholes to make this an actually FDA approved sunscreen in the US. So that is a very interesting and worth noting. Very few Korean sunscreens actually do the work to be designated as FDA approved sunscreens. And again, it just comes down to the fact that the more innovative fun filters that they use in Korea aren't allowed in the US. So COSRX had to use FDA approved filters, which partially reflects in the texture and elegance of the sunscreen. But the formulation points, as the name points out, this has vitamin E and that's really the big marketing claim around it is you get the antioxidant benefits from vitamin E. Other formulation points, I mentioned earlier, no white cast. This does have silica in it. And silica is a mattifier. It's like an oil absorber, which you see it a lot in formulations designated for oily skin because it helps to keep you shine free. This has silica in it. They mentioned, oh, it's to help keep shine free. This leaves me shiny. I, I don't get the point of it in that marketing. Really, silica can serve other purposes in formulations and I am leaning more towards it's doing all those things because it left me shiny. Other main formulation points that Cosrx themselves call out, they have a cotton extract in this, which they also say helps to absorb and control oil wear. And then this also has cocoa extract, which they kind of tout as offering some more antioxidant benefits and helping to be a little bit more moisturizing. Not a lot's really going on with this in terms of formulation. The big call outs for me were obviously this uses FDA approved filters only. This is actually an FDA approved sunscreen. There are silica in this and some ingredients to help control shine, but where, what are they doing? They clocked off too early. This is alcohol free though. So do note that, but this does have fragrance in it, which I'll get into in a second. They also mention on the website frequently that this is like a really great sunscreen for summer. It's perfect for summer, really good for high UV summer days. This does offer great protection again, SPF 50 plus, broad spectrum, I'm imagining. They don't designate a PA rating. It's not water or sweat resistant though. So do note that. Let's get to foundation wear, how this plays with makeup. Again, this is a moisturizing sunscreen. And generally for makeup, I do love a moisturized base. This is too much for me. So even if I do use mattifying makeup on top of this, I'm gonna get shiny, I'm gonna get oily, I'm gonna have to blot and maintain that. And that's why I think this is specifically a better option for normal to dry skin types. If you got oily skin, you don't love a heavy sunscreen, you don't love a very moisturizing sunscreen, this is not gonna be the best one for you. Just because even with makeup, it's going to make you shiny, even if you powder, even if you use mattifying makeup. I also, having oily skin, would not use this to reapply on top of my makeup. But if you have dry skin and you love a very radiant, glowy look, this could be a really good option for you. So now let's talk fragrance. Again, this does have fragrance in there. It's listed as an ingredient component. To me, this smells like a man. You know, the black eyes car air fresheners, you know, like Gillette's deodorant. That's what this smells like to me, which I'm not mad at, but it's it's a specific smell. And it's actually very interesting to see in a sunscreen. I have not seen a sunscreen smell like that, but there's something about that smell. I just, I love a man. What can I say? So I actually do really like the smell of this. That being said, I don't think it lingers too long. I didn't smell it on myself for after a while, but just know it does have fragrance. So final thoughts on this. So this is 50 mil and it's anywhere from 15 to 23 dollars, depending on which retailer you choose to go with. Quite honestly, having oily skin, this isn't for me. This is not for you. This is heavy, this is moisturizing, this is shiny. Definitely not oily skin friendly in my eyes, especially when they have their Aloe Soothing Sun Cream, which I think is a much better option. That being said, it's rare to find a dry skin friendly Korean sunscreen in my mind that is actually very richly moisturizing. I think this would be a great option for normal to dry skin types. And I do understand this is probably something they designed and they said, you know what? We want this specifically for sale in the retail space in America. So obviously we have to comply with FDA regulations, but this is just a standard one of the mill American sunscreen to me, not even in a good way. Like it smells delicious. I'm gonna say that like that is the only plus for me. It smells manly, but the inelegance, the experience of using it. I'm like, if you if you use American sunscreens and find that they burn your eyes, those are gonna burn your eyes. If you use American sunscreens and you don't like the texture of them because they're not very elegant, so for me, I'm very torn on this. Quite honestly, I think it's a very interesting option as a Korean sunscreen coming into the American market. I just wonder why they chose the route they did and why they didn't choose to make like a very Korean-esque American sunscreen. So I'm not a fan. I think there's better options you can get at Target. Obviously I mentioned Black Girl Sunscreen, the kids version, more elegant than this. Sunbum, one of my favorites, great smells. Similar experience to this, you can get more elegant face options from Sunbum. I ordered this off of Yes Style because I saw James talk about it. And obviously a new sunscreen from Costa Rex is very exciting. And I'm just very disappointed in this, quite honestly, for all the reasons I mentioned. So again, if you don't mind a fragrance, if you have dry skin, and if you wanna try an American Korean sunscreen, give this a shot. But if you have oily skin, you don't like a shine, and elegance is a very big thing for you, not for you. Let me know down below in the comments section, have you tried this new Costa Rex sunscreen? What are your thoughts on it? Are they different from mine? Sound off. What other new Korean sunscreens do you want me to review on this channel? I have a bunch, not even just the ones I got in Korea, but Claire's came out with some new sunscreens, some by me, 
Kyun Kyang Yul. They all have some new sunscreens that just came out, unique. So stay tuned for those and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know that those reviews and my other skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content go live on my channel. Do not forget to give the video a thumbs up and thank you guys for watching. Bye.